what is going on guys in this video we are going to learn how to make this kind of animation or this kind of animation or any kind of simple animation in jetpack compose so let's get started with the video so i have an empty project that says hello android let's say hello to this hello android and delete this composable and also delete this greeting we'll create our own composable let's call it in a different file simple animation page and here we'll create composable let's call it simple animation page and we'll just call it from main activity so simple animation page modifier dot padding inner padding that's it now here we'll create animation first what i will do i will add an image and the button over here so simple we'll use column in the column first i will give the modifier modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size vertical arrangement arrangement dot center horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally and we'll add one image and the button image you can add any image or you can use icon also let me add one image let's copy the image and paste it in drawable okay we have the image over here logo now here i will use that logo so image i'll use painter so keep it on separate line Painter will be painter resource r dot drawable dot logo and content description. Let's call it logo. If I apply change, you can see our logo is visible. I will give the specific size with modifier modifier dot size 200 dp. Let's say and also I will give weight as one floating point so that it will take the remaining space after we add the button. Now we'll add button below this. So let's just give a simple text animate on click we'll do something but let's run now how it is looking you can see i have the logo and i have the button here this modifier should be from this modifier so that we will get the padding now it's good now what i will show you if you go over here in the image you have one more property that is scale if you see over here we have a scale if you do here 0 0.3 floating point what will happen it will show 30 percent of 200 dp it will be scaled to 30% of 200 dp. It will be scaled down. If you do 0.5, you can see it is scaled to 50%. If you give one over here, it will be scaled to 100% that is 200 dp. So in this way, this scale works. Now for animation, we have to change this scale. So over the time, we have to change this. First, it should be 0f and then over the time, it should be 1f. So how we can do that, that we'll learn. So for that, first we'll create a variable to store the scale value. We'll create a variable, let's say scale equals to remember. And here you can give 1f or 0.3f initial value. But instead of directly giving the floating point, what I will do, I have animatable. You can see over here, I have animatable class. Here we can give the value, let's say 0f. In this way, we can increase or decrease the value of this with this animatable. Now here, you can pass scale dot value scale dot value so that it will take from this scale variable if i run now you can see logo is not visible that means it is zero now we have to now we have to increase this scale value over the time so how we can do that we have to do in coroutine scope so we have launch defect so if you see over here we have launch defect which takes key and the coroutine scope here in the key you can pass true or false let's pass false for now if it is false, it won't be affected on recompose. If UI is redrawn, it won't be animated again. Anything done here, it will be done only once. So we are passing false for now. Now here in the coroutine scope, we will increase the scale. Scale dot animate to here we can give target value that is from zero, we will go to one. That's it. In the coroutine scope, we have increased the scale value from zero to one. So let's run and see if I apply change. You can see over here it is animating if, if i run again and again once it is animating from zero it is going to 1f but what we will do here if you see over here we can pass animation spec we can do animation spec here we can give twin we have twin method now here if you see in the twin what we can pass is duration millisecond delay millisecond and easing so easing is for how it will look in the animation delay millisecond after how many second you want to start the animation duration is from start to target how much time it should take so we will pass duration millisecond let's say 1000 that is one second if i run now you can see it took one second if you do 2000 it will take two seconds now you can pass like that you can pass delay as well but delay is not required for now let's pass easing 
what it will take it will take a overshoot interpolator so here if you see we can pass tension value let's say 2f and dot will get dot get interpolation let's pass same value it now if i run you can see it is scaled so it is looking good so animation is looking good now on click of this button if you want to do animation again we have this key over here we have passed it false so what we will do we will create one variable so let's say animate again which will be boolean by remember mutable state of let's give by default as a false import this and here we will give animate again value so it will be false at first and on click of the button what we can do we have to set the scale size to zero and animate again so here we can't do directly scale dot snap to because this is animatable what we have to do we have to launch in coroutine scope so i will use global scope dot launch so here i will do scale dot snap to and let it be zero on click of button we are giving zero now after this animate again value we can say if it is false let's make it true if it is true let's make it false now if i run if i click animate again it is animating you can see over here we are creating the scale variable so that it will change over time and provide that scale value to the image so image will be animated you can use this for anything over here if you see over here you have other properties as well if you want to do rotate as well you can see rotate we have to pass the degrees so you can pass degree from 0 degree it should go to target value will be 360 degree let's say again it will rotate and come back now here we can do scale dot value and let's remove this scale now if i run you can see the animation so you can use any variable give the initial value and give the target value it will start animating so you can think about any animation and do this so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye